Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this Sunday's NFL action. 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 That's what we do. We've been yeah. doing it for uh, 15 weeks now. They, yes. know, they know the deal. Yes, we have. They know the deal. And we've been doing it pretty well, I might say. It, you know what? It started really good with me. Started really bad with you. Mm -hmm. I decided to let you back in the race. I stayed consistent. We're nine games over 500, but you, let's talk about you. You're on a heater of a lifetime. This is really, this is, this is, this is what we've been wanting. 17, four and one. Really good. I'm, I'm running really, my record really of 24, good. 24 and one, 500. I think you might catch me. Clawing back. I think you might catch I'm me. Clawing back. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Fuck you. We'll see what happens. I'm going to start us off. Oh, by the way, I went 3-0 last week. Let's just throw that out there wow. in case you didn't remember. Wow. In case you didn't remember another 3-0 week. Was that pretty big lock record, too, by the way? That's not an insult. That's just... that's just. I don't know. It's not important. Let's start it off with my first pick of the week. We're going to go with the Steelers at the Jets. Minus three Steelers. This is... This is so easy. Of, this is such an easy pick. It's simple. There's, it, it is simple. There's two narratives I'm working with here. The Lev Bell revenge game, oh. except it's the Steelers. The Steelers are going to be listen, we don't f***ing need you, Le'Veon. We don't need you, Le'Veon. And they're going to stomp. They're just going to stomp all over him. They're going to stuff him at the line of scrimmage. He's not going to go over 65 yards from scrimmage. The next narrative, Robbie Anderson went home with an illness on Thursday. Not great. Some might say he was... <laughs> Down with the sickness! And, uh, Why did I sign up to do this? So, uh, yeah. Steelers minus three. <laughs> the down with the sickness part is really good. Right? I like that. Uh, I'm going to stay with the same game. Steelers have what? Second best defense in the league? Some may say the first. It's a good defense. It's good defense. The Jets defense isn't too shabby, but you know what the Steelers offense is? Also not too shabby. Really bad. Wait, did you say too sh What'd you say? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Run it back. Doesn't matter. Steelers defense, really good. Jets defense, not awful. Steelers offense, really bad. Sam Darnold, good hair. I don't like him. He sees ghosts. He sees ghosts. That's why we're going under. Under 37 and a half. Pittsburgh at the Jets. That's going to be a home game for the Steelers, by the way. Yeah, might as well be. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 Steelers fans travel so well. And not from, even that. from Jets, Pittsburgh to New York, that's Jets, like... Jets have terrible fans. We went to the Giants-Jets game, and it was Jets' home game, and there was no Jets fans in the parking lot at like 8 o'clock. At 9 o'clock. You, you, you go to a Giants What do you game, expect? You though? go to a Giants home game yeah. at 8 o'clock in the morning, and the whole fucking thing is filled when you've won you you, you know when you've won in the past you, yeah. you like to act like the jets coming, have you, not won you celebrate no matter suck. what they suck they could those fans can't even lick the dirt on the bottom of my feet steelers jets under 37 and a half pick one all right my next pick this one's gonna be real quick because i have zero analysis for it it's so simple though it's chiefs at bears it's the chiefs minus six You don't need to know anything else. Like, Mitch Trubisky is not a good quarterback. He's played a couple of okay games, but the Chiefs' defense has been getting better and better every week, and, like, they're, no, one's, they're, no one's talking about it. No. I see it because I'm fucking sharp, but no one else sees it. <laughs> Chiefs minus six. This, this line should be minus nine. It should be minus nine, but it's minus six, so take it. Take it at minus If it goes up to minus six and a half, take it. Minus seven, take it. And minus eight. Yeah, minus eight. Take it. Minus eight and a half. Take it. Minus nine. Probably not. Might get a push. So what you're saying is it's simple. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's, exactly. It's, it's exactly simple. Exactly what it's I'm simple. saying. That's, it is simple. I tell you, that's probably the best analysis you've given. I also agree. The, three. the Bears are playing for nothing. The Chiefs are yeah, 20 Chiefs, times better. They want home field. They want, you know, something. I don't even know if they're eligible for home field right now. I don't know. No, they, no. Can't, they can't win that. Well, they just want to They want to get in the playoffs and win, then keep that rolling. So. Well, that's my Super Bowl pick, so yeah. I like it. So what else is simple? 
maybe not so simple for you because you kind of you kind of turned your head on me. You said you like it, but you don't like it. You love it. You don't love it. I love it. I'm going oh, over no. 46. Atlanta Falcons, Jacksonville Jaguars. I didn't say I don't like it. No, I know, but you just said you didn't. I just worry about the Jacksonville it. Jaguars being able to score points. They scored twenty. What did they score? Twenty something in the uh, yeah. in the Coliseum last week. They could yeah, do it. Yeah, the last minute, yeah, very close. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. Go ahead. Falcons finish strong. They're going to score some points. They probably score thirty. I think the I think the Jaguars put up twenty. They go to fifty at least minimum. That covers. Oh, that covers by four points. By four points. Yep. Over. 46. Atlanta. Jacksonville. In the Dome. Going to be a shootout. Matt Ryan going to throw all over that trash bag defense. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck them. Over 46. And you know what? It's simple. See what I did there? I did. I used I, your line. I see. You took my catchphrase. You used, used your catchphrase. You unoriginal bastard. Oh, right. oh. Oh, Let's go oh. to our big dog locks of the week. We got two for you this week. It's a special week, only because two people sent them in, so they're they're both going to get it. That's really. You think they take Houston? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Let's go to Luke and Liam. Big dog lock of the week, baby. We got the Panthers taking on the Colts. Colts since week twelve, zero and four, allowing thirty points per game. They just got destroyed by the Saints, destroyed. And, I mean, what do they have to play for anymore? They're knocked out of the playoffs. On the other hand, the Panthers, you might ask, oh, what do they have to play for? Uh, McCaffrey breaking records out here. And also, it's Will Greer season, baby. Give it to me. Panthers plus seven. Lock it in, baby. Let's go. What's going on, big dogs? My lock of the week, it's simple. It's money. The Jets, the Steelers, it's the under. No matter the total, there's not going to be any scoring in this game. The Steelers' defense is too electric. Both these offenses are subpar at best. Over the last six weeks, only once has a total in the Steelers' game gone over 40 points. It's fire. It's sure money. Let's lock it in. Jets, Steelers, the under. Big dogs. Wow. Listen, we got a, wow. got a similar Look pick. Look at that. Well, the same. And we got the it's Panthers plus similar. seven. It's the same. It's the same. And the Panthers plus seven. We'll see what happens. Big dog record is on the uh, screen, maybe. Whatever the f*** it, it is. is. I think we don't care about you. They got a winning guys. record still, I think. It's close, though. Well, yeah, Yannick really helped out by fading you for a week and went 3-0 when you were in your uh, you were in your depression time. Oh, you're right. Oh, do you hear that sound? There, there it is again. That means it is time for the Big Lot! Oh, oh hey! Let's not. Let's, let's go with the gentle. Okay, so it's Fuck time em. for the big locks. I'm going to start us off. We're going with the Packers at the Vikings plus five and a half. Division on the line, kind of, because the Vikings would have to win again. But for the Packers, the division is on the line. They win this game, they clinch that shit. They clinch it. Another thing I'm, I want to mention here, last week I took the Vikings, had some DMs, had some people saying, listen, I'm a Vikings fan. I know my team. They're going to let me down this week. Well, you were a week too early, buddy. You were a week too early. This is the week they let you down. Packers plus five and a half? This should be minus five and a half. Packers are going to win this game. No, there, no Dalvin Cook, most likely. No, you know, he's out. He's out. He's out. So, you know that that uh, adult swim thing? Too many cooks, too many cooks. There's no cooks, no cooks this week. Division on the line. Packers clinch with win. Packers plus five and a half. Take it to the bank. Lock it up. Big lock. Easy money. It's simple. your turn yeah i know it's my turn <laughs> i'm taking minnesota minus five and a half you're just going against my big lock record here thinking like that's going to do something for you no analysis either huh Ballsy. i think the packers are the most fraudulent team in the nfl they're like 11 and 3 but do you think they're 11 and 3 if you watch them without knowing their record do you think they're 11 and 3 no no 
Right. Exactly. Minnesota at home with a raucous, a raucous Minnesota Viking crowd. Five and a half. Division still on the line. Like you said, they got to win. I just don't trust this Green Bay team. Dalvin Cook or not, I think, I think, I think. But do you think it's going to be a close game? Yeah. How close? It's going to be a one-score like, game. Like three and a half points? No, a touchdown game. All right. It's going to be a six-point game. All right. Minnesota, minus five and a half. Couldn't love it more if I f***ing tried. And I'm trying so hard to love it more. I am trying so damn hard to love it more. But I can't. I just can't. I'm taking my bills. I'm going to put it. I'm going to slap it on Kirk Cousins. You like that? Oh, nice. I like that. I do like that. That was good. Yeah. All right, everybody. Hey, that's the show. As always, please uh, comment. Please like. Please subscribe. Send in some big dog locks. And we'll see you next Sunday. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. You got something else? Yeah. I got a few things. Uh, you should have said things. that before I did all that. You can do it again. I want to. Uh, we're going to go four games next week. We're not sure yet. We're going to go four. We might go five. We might go six. We're going to see what happens. Right. We're, we're going to do more than we're three. We're going to do more than three next week, so just be prepared. And we're going to go into the playoffs and all the way up until the Super Bowl, and then we're going to figure out what happens with Correct. this after. But bagels and locks will live forever. Forever. Well, there you have it, everybody. That's the show. Please like, please subscribe, comment below, send us your big blocks. That's it. Bagels and locks? Sorry.